Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blumano Banana and this is Mountain Blade Warband. In the last episode we did some kind of trading, some kind of fighting, and now we are here right between two great bandit hordes. Oh, well, not too big, but you know, just try... Oh, the other one just... Ha, huh, interesting. So I figured the other one would try to reinforce them, but they didn't, so we have a pretty clean fight on our hands. That's great. I do not like fighting in the dark, to be completely honest with you. Those guys over here. Because you can't really see... Can't really see that much. Let's get the cavalry... Ah, oh, we just have two. Mm, that sucks. Ah, oh, let's put them there. Try to get them to follow me now. And get the charge in. I I don't know why the AI does that. I mean it's it's pretty a pretty cheap tactic in my opinion. Uh and Porsche got knocked out, okay. You just you basically draw the attention and now your your infantry can pick him apart while, while you just run in circles, try to avoid the, the projectiles they shoot. So basically, they, they're no threat, or almost no threat to your... Uh, to your... Hmm, infantry. Yeah, that's what I want. See? They got picked apart. They, they got picked apart so hard. And the sword sister's getting killed. Yeah. As usual. Uh. Oh, there are new enemies, sir. Let's pull back. Come on, pull back, pull back, pull back. I want to... Oh, sorry. Shite. That wasn't good. Shouldn't have blocked her. I want to pull back so the archers are in range. Yeah, get him, Artie. So now move forward again. Delivered 151 damage. That's pretty damn good. Ah, he has a pike, that's why he stopped me cold, so that's not good. If you just stop shooting me, I would really I would prefer that. Oh, I knocked him unconscious because I trampled him with the horse. That's another thing, I'm really... I thought that's actually why I took the Morning Star to, you know, deliver blunt weapon damage. But it doesn't seem like it really delivers blunt weapon damage. But look at the spikes, I mean, come on, if you get hit with this thing, I don't, I don't really think that you'll survive. I mean, someone rides up to you and smacks you this, this ball of spikes into your guts. Ah, that's that's a recipe for internal bleeding, I'd say. Let's get this guy. Usually I just take up the top six here, unless I'm really broke in the early game. And you pick up a bit more. Let's see, yes, another who's called, that's great. You really need them. They're That's actually why I love to play as or with the Nords. Because they, they're just amazing. They're so good at... Um... Oh, I think... No, not... I thought this count would reinforce us, but it didn't. Um, yeah, but they're amazing at taking castles. And that's just what you really want to do in the late game. And that's why I train them up now. They have a lot of HP, a lot of armor. They hit pretty damn hard. They have this Huskull shield. They have a one-handed or two-handed axe. You can switch between it, and I hate when they do. Because they usually wield it in both hands when it's just the wrong time. It's just like, ah, oh, there are ten archers approaching. I better put away my shield and try to two-hand them. Which is basically not smart. Since everybody's looking that direction, it seems like the enemy will approach from there somewhere. But I can't... Oh, there they are. Yes, yes, fire. Fire at will. 
can fire it, John. Uh, let's charge him. I just thought. Nah, that, that, that choke sucks. I, I apologize. Hey, hey, hey. What are you thinking? I mean, look at them. They're just. They're just a wrecking ball. Uh, let's move our archers up, move the infantry up, keep the cavalry over there, and I do think I'm gonna just kill that guy. And he tries to run away. So. Actually, let's move up a bit. Archers should be. Yes, that's 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 great. Hate advantage, so fire it. Yeah, fire at them. Come on, do it. Fire. That's actually another great position for us to to try and try and get them. I uh, just try and take out the archers if I can. I said, "Ow! How dare you!" Um. Yeah, I've, I almost forgot. Could you please, please snipe that guy? Would you be so kind? Thank you. There's still more? Oh, there must be some... Oh, look at them! Wow, that's that's a huge range. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm impressed. You really tried to snipe the guys up, up on the hill. But you shouldn't. You shouldn't leave your surroundings un... well, I don't know. Hmm. Ah, well, I, I don't know where I went, where, where I wanted to go with this joke. Uh, Swati and Crossbowmen? Nope. They suck. And uh, Manhunters? Nah. Only take the best of the best. Which is Swati and Knights, Rhoda Crossbowmen, Huskal, and uh, Nord Huskals, basically. That's that's my Oh come on no 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 Oh you're trying to hammer me huh? Yeah well it's a game both we both can play But my hammer's better Yep see You shouldn't have done that You should not have done that Huh Trying to be sneaky huh? And you're dead. Idiot. Got, whoa, 150 dinars to that and 88 experience. Cool. That can happen, I think, when you try to go to the tavern at night. I'm not sure if it happens during daylight, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, that guy has enough money. Enough dough, enough cash. Two. Buy all that crap. Awesome. I think we may lost some. Eh, it's close. Uh, maybe we lost some money on selling the dice there, but I don't care. I really don't. Good. So let's move on to Cuden. Or if we find some Tundra Bandits, why the hell not? Maybe we just not go to Kudan and we're going to visit Kiro again, try to get some iron. Then we move down to Praven, get some ale. The, the cool thing about ale in Praven is you sometimes get it for 50 dinars. And maybe I, I said that in the last episode, I think. You can get it for 50 and you can sell it for 110, 120 sometimes, which is amazing. Actually. Just let the cavalry charge. Let's see. And we lost the Sword Sister, most likely. Yeah. Should have let the cavalry charge, they're so stupid. Eh, get the hell out of there. Eh, at least she just got knocked out, not killed. And my felt got knocked out. See, that's why, I, well, that's why I don't use a lot of um, cavalry. The thing is, it's not, that's, that's actually unfair to say. Ow! Oh, I really need to be careful now. Really low HP. 
Um, but yeah, it, it's basically unfair to say that because cavalry is extremely strong if you have a lot of them. If you have just two or three, they suck. But if you have like maybe 20, 20 guys, I think is, is may, maybe the threshold where you see them wreck face. So it's, it's a bit unfair to say, man, they suck. Yeah, well, they do if you just have one or two because they get stuck. But if you have, as I said, a real nice circ ball, you can just write them down. Uh, that's that's pretty cool if you have that many, but they're really expensive and I don't have the money to support them yet. So we have 8k now, that's pretty damn good. Speaking about money, so I thought I'd bring that up. Uh, another sharpshooter, yes, it's crazy good. So let's try if we can find... Let's try to find some, what are they called again, ransom brokers, yeah, Does, oh, look at that, just as I say it, so another 400 dinars, pretty good, pretty good, go to marketplace, get rid of all the crap that we just picked up, and let's see, so I think tools for under 300 should be alright, they don't have any iron at the moment, which sucks. So, yeah, that's that. And they're both looted, I think they are currently... no, okay. So let's move to Revadin and maybe down to uh, Dirim. Let's see if we can get stuff. Nah. I just thought since it took a bit that we got um, robbed again or they tried to rob us again. Yeah, see, for under. I, I take it. I take it. Let's see if they have some cheap gauntlets. Nah, two grand. Mm. Nah, not worth it. Rusty coat of plates, though. I mean, I don't like the coat of plates, but. Rusty is, is an okay modifier. Crude also kind of good. So that would be 5014. The cool thing if you have a uh, if you have the heraldic mail and you get the right to uh, have a banner, you see your house colors on your heraldic mail. And also on the shields, usually. If you have a shield that supports that. Oh another tournament, eh? We could do that, we could. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a good trade. <laughs> Maybe I screwed that up pretty pretty badly. Lamela Gauntlet, eh? I should get some rather soon. I mean, it's another 6 body armor and 1.6k, that's actually not too shabby. You know what? Yeah, I'll take him. We're gonna join the tournament. Let's see, look at that. Cardus and. Oh, it's Kratos, I think. And uh, Serenia aren't here. So let's do that. Let's fight here. I know, I know. That I don't know if you like the tournaments. I think they are not the f most fun thing to watch. I can see why. But if you're good, which I'm not, I lost a lot of them lately, then, well, you get a, a crap ton of cash, which we need right now. Well, you, you I don't even s need to say right now. I, I actually just could say we get a crap ton of cash, which we need, because that's that's true. We just need cash, always. You always need cash. To be honest. Oh, that was close. So, I actually read the comments, and you were you're right. You don't need to dismount to pick up an item. So that's that's pretty damn good. I didn't know that. I tried it. It's not 
easy to do. You have to be really close and yeah, you could could have seen that at the last um, second there, but it's possible. Not easy to do, but it's possible. It's also really nice that we are here in uh, in actually Swadi, I think. So most of the fighting will be mounted, hopefully, because that's the one that I'm good at. Or semi good at. Okay, let's just put it that way. I like the lance. It's it's pretty cool to to play with the lance. Maybe maybe I'll pick up uh, pick up a lance. Actually, it could be cool. Buy one and play as more or less a Swadian knight. Ah, damn it, got blocked by my own fighter here. You're not gonna shoot me, you bastard. I love I love when you get the archer. Uh, when you get the when you get an archer set, so basically dagger and uh, bow and bow and arrows, you're so screwed. Did I just who did I? Hmm, interesting. So that's, I think that uh, is fixed in the Floris mod, which is pretty good. I played it uh, occasion. I played it occasionally. Oh, damn it! Yeah, well, it's not too bad. I, at least I got one hand shield. Come on, just knock him off the horse. Don't don't get the horse. Damn it, they got the horse. I hate it when it happens. No, they didn't. Haha, <laughs> idiots. I'm on a horse. Eh. So what I really need to try to do now is get rid of the archers, because they are usually the most annoying. Ah, eh, see? So, damn it! It's really, really weird. Those ho practice horses, or unarmed horses here that I have, are really fast compared to my uh, pretty, sh pretty armored heavy horse. It would be bad if I, if my horse gets hit one more time, because usually that would mean it gets downed, and then I'm pretty much screwed against all of them. Nope. Don't, don't, don't you dare. Yes, got that guy. I should, I should not be eliminated right now. If I, ah, damn it, I couldn't get, I uh, couldn't get the horse to turn in time. Uh, maneuver is not great on this one. So, nope, the couch lands. We really need to be careful there. That blocked me, okay. Maybe I'll, Maybe there's a lance somewhere, that would be good. Yes, there's lance. Great! So, I think the lance is a bit better against the, the, the foot footman here. Because, yeah, see, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. I think in general the Lance has a really big advantage in tournaments. If you if you're able to outmaneuver your enemy, which is not always the case. As you can see here, we're pretty much stuck. And well, if you're stuck, you don't get the couched. Oh, I need to be careful here. Yes, he has the couch lance, I didn't. How could I what? How did that happen? He retracted his lance and I pushed man forward. So whoa, that that sounds man, that sounds really weird. Now I'll come to think of it. Delivered another seven damage to him. Yes, and I got him. Great! So that was Drenton even. That guy is also pretty damn strong. Did he get knocked out of the tournament? Yes he did. So I am pretty confident that we win now, unless we get some really shitty RNG and we're like, and, and if, if I would have been the archer guy, 
I would have been so salty. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, well, we we could get screwed here pretty hard. I really want him to, yeah, ride into a wall and then just hack down either him or the horse. Perfect. Place bet itself. Let's do this. Let's win a tournament once again. Oh, come on, really? What do you want to do if you're not on the, not the horse guy? You really need to try to stay close to a wall. And always, always, always try to be as close as, the, as you can. Because he can't do shh if you're close. Yeah, got him. So, who's the last one? A veteran fighter. I bet, I bet I get the bow and he's, I don't know, mounted or something. Oh, not even. So it's a 1-1. One one. Hmm. Could be worse. Could be better. Yes, got him. Whew! Awesome, so I got... <laughs> I love it. Easy. Um, in addition to the honor, fame and glory, you earn the price of 200 denas. Moreover, you earn almost 4,000, so <laughs> I don't know uh, of clever bets. I mean, come on, really, Ethereum, seriously, 200 dinars is, is the big price money, and what, 20, yeah, 20 times as much for, I don't, I don't know. All right, fine. So, great, so we, we, got, an, we got a huge cash infusion right here, I love it, it's great. Who's fighting down there? Oh man, you the the Swadians getting dumped on again. So th I think the Swadians are pretty much the punching ball of everybody. You they they're central uh, since they're central and bordering everybody. You, you you've seen I think Deerim was under control of um, the Vegas for quite some time. Now the Nords have taken it. And also this, uh, is it a, I think they, they got a castle out of it too, yeah, see, they, they got the castle there. Um, now the, the Kyrgyz Kanganet are beating up on them, sometimes they're at war with um, the Rodox, so they are getting screwed. So that's why I usually don't like to buy businesses there, even though they are really profitable. No, some deserters, I don't like it. Just... okay, it's just militia. We could beat them up, but... eh, not really. Don't feel like it. So let's go to Uxkal. Or Axkal, I don't know. Oh, damn it, do they? No, they're just... okay. Uh, that's a... that's a rally. I thought they were sieging it, but then I realized they would siege their own... their own holding. Um... Basically, what I... what they do there is they... basically... Rally all their forces. If you're a line, or if you're basically um, one of their vassals, or if you swear fealty to them, oh wow, that's a nice bow. So if you swear fealty to them, you actually sometimes get the messenger. Yeah, we gather our forces near Uxkal or something. And so you have you have three days to come, or, you know, a week or something. And there were some forest bandits. I don't care, actually. Damn it! Come on! I I I think I really screwed up on the tools here. Hmm, master my crossbow. Not really worth it. I actually would like one of the war bows, and I I do think I'm gonna replace my second weapon slot with. Oh, really? Why is everything so cheap? I want to replace my second uh, weapon slot with bow and arrow. Or at least I want to do that if we are at, um, at a siege, in a siege uh, scenario. Because usually if you're, e either way, if you're the defender and you can shoot some enemies, you know, snipe some some people before they can, you know, breach the walls. It's fewer 
guys to fight, right? And or less guys, I don't know. And uh, that that's that's pretty damn good, if you can do so. And same thing goes if you're on the offense. If you can snipe some people off the walls, well, it's less defenders to fight. So that that's great, if you can do it. But usually, I'd rather have a bow, even though it's it scales late game. It really scales into the late game. It's not an early game weapon. Board incident. What's well, I reached that local notables from Yelly Bay, a village claimed by the Kingdom of Swadia, have been mistreated by the overlords from the Kingdom of the North and the petition. Ah, okay. Eh, I don't care. Look at that, mountain bandits. Let's get him. So that will be the last fight for, for this episode, I think. And we had 26 minutes, it's a bit longer episode, but since we had a tournament, I I think it's it's fair enough. So, we gotta take out some mountain bandits. That's... those are... I can't remember. I don't think they were that dangerous, though. Let's put our archers somewhere over here. Let's let the infantry charge. Uh, let's put the calf... Uh, let's put the calf over there. And the trainees just piss off. Oh, they are lightly armored shortbow guys. Okay. Oh, not the problem. They have pikes, so you wear that. Can't stop it. Thanks. Let's let the cavalry charge. Should be right. What's usually the most dangerous um, about enemies that have ranged weaponry? Actually, the throwing weapons. They and of course crossbows. You do not mess with crossbows, that's that's one thing. Really you shouldn't. So Rodox, if you see if you, you if you think, yeah, right, I'm gonna siege down a Rodox holding, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the Rodox. Ah uh, usually you don't. Their crossbows, they just wreck you, and I think crossbows have a have really high damage against shields. So what happens is they just vol send out a volley Destroy your shield and the second one just destroys you. It's it's pretty brutal. That's why I want to get them. Because Rodok shop shoot is awesome. If they're on your side. Otherwise, not so much. Great. So let's let's just head to Veluca and then let's call an episode. I think that that's that's only fair. Not just some deserters. Alright. So let's sell all the crap and wrap it up. Come on, I think that the tools were a really bad buy on my part. Need to get the Bernie back. Alright, so... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you next time. When we head back up, maybe via Oxcal, Dirim, or something, Robotin, or something like that, um, beat up our good friends, the Sea Raiders, again. I do not like to destroy the sea, layer, sea, raider, sea raider layer or landing. Same goes for the Tundra Bandit layer because they spawn them, and that's that's great. That's you know farming spot for cash. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you next time. And as always, I'll feed us in.